Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi and we just got a trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi and Geonosis. This shows off some new footage of Obi-Wan but not just that but alongside that we got a community transmission showing off all of Obi-Wan Kenobi's abilities, appearances and star cards as well as his play style and a little bit of info about him. So basically this new trailer shows off Geonosis, Grievous which we already know how he plays but it looks really really good like on Geonosis Grievous his abilities are working in the trailer he looks amazing we see obi-wan we see vehicles we see all kinds of things so i'm super excited to be talking about this today guys they mixed in some of the old trailers with the new one which is amazing we see obi-wan's abilities in action and they look like they're going to be awesome and there's a really really cool scene with the burned grievous skin that is going to be the next skin that comes out on the 28th so i'm really excited to get my hands on that too because it looks fantastic. Now, jumping into the community transmission, there is a bunch of information on Obi-Wan Kenobi and what it took to bring him to the game and things like that, but I'm not gonna go through that, otherwise this video is gonna end up being really long. So, if you guys wanna read that, I will leave the link to the community transmission down below and you guys can check that out for yourselves. But jumping right into it, we do get images of Obi-Wan Kenobi in his Jedi Master appearance, which is of course his basic appearance. His face looks kind of like Ewan McGregor, but there's a little tweak to it. I think Elliot from Battlefront Update said it best. It looks similar to the young Obi-Wan in Star Wars Rebels. Obviously, he's not super young, but he's not super old yet. It looks like a mix of that and Ewan McGregor. So I think that's a really good way to go. And it makes him look really great for the video game. Jumping into it though, his lightsaber, obviously it says the traditional weapon of a Jedi Knight. It provides strong attacks and Obi-Wan will have the ability to deflect both lightsabers and blasters more effectively than other Jedi due to his increased stamina pool. Now that is really cool guys, we knew Obi-Wan was going to be a defensive hero, obviously he's going to have a lot more stamina so he's going to be more effective at blocking blasters and lightsabers. I think his dueling style will be pretty cool and as far as deflecting blasters that's going to be really useful as well. Getting into his abilities though, the first one is called All Out Push and from the look of this list the leaks were true, Obi-Wan will unleash a power Powerful force blast in an area directly in front of him, damaging and sending his opponents tumbling backwards. This ability can be adapted based on the situation you find yourself in. Hold down the button to increase both range and width of this ability. That sounds pretty cool guys, it's similar to Luke's force push but it's not the same thing. You can charge it up to have more range and width. I'm interested to see how much damage it actually does. I really hope it's going to be 150 at least so that it one hits infantry aside from heavy of course and buffed officers but it would be really useful if it does kill infantry on one hit similar to Luke's force push. The other thing with this and comparing again to Luke, I would hope that this ability can be performed while Obi-Wan is jumping. One thing that's really useful with Luke is his force push jumping in midair. It makes it so much quicker to use the ability, you don't get stuck in an animation, and I think it's definitely the best way to use it. So hopefully the all-out push can be used that way as well. His second ability is going to be a defensive rush. Obi-Wan will rush forward swinging his lightsaber, deflecting any attacks and damaging enemies in front of him. So I'm guessing this is going to be similar to all the other dashes like Rey has, or Grievous has and he's just going to be swinging his lightsaber side to side and hitting any enemies on the way. This is a cool ability, I like the idea of it and I'm sure they're going to have a star card below that is going to boost up the damage as well just like Rey has. Getting into the third ability though, Restrictive Mind Trick. Now obviously this sounds similar to Rey but when you read the description it says when used all opponents abilities in front of Obi-Wan will be disrupted. During this time no abilities will be available and this includes dodges. So it's it's not exactly the same as Ray's, so the enemy is going to lose all their abilities for a short amount of time. With Ray's, obviously they just get confused, but they can still jump, they can still dodge, all of that thing. The big difference with Obi-Wan's is it restricts dodging, and that's going to be really hard for some people, because obviously when Mind Trick comes in, dodging is one of the best ways to avoid being destroyed by Ray. I don't know what the plan is going to be if you get hit with this. You can't use your abilities, Maul can't spin out of the way, which is something that happens a lot. Hopefully the animation is isn't too long for Obi-Wan because I feel like Ray's is just a touch too long. But other than that, it sounds like a good ability. It's going to be a quick way to take down enemies, and if they can't dodge either, it's going to be frustrating for them. Now, star cards. Jedi Resilience is a maximum health regeneration increase, similar to General Grievous had. Jedi General is a health on 
one kill card like all of the heroes now have this is going to be for him defeating any enemy instead of using an ability so that's good i really like that perfect defense is blocking lightsaber and blaster attacks drain less stamina so you could make him really really defensive and really boost up that stamina with that star card as well if you wanted give it all is the all-out push has a longer range but its damage is reduced i'm sure that'll come in handy a few times during those longer maps quick and focus is the charge up time of all out push is slightly shorter that'd be good as well so those last two cards are similar to what yoda has with his push ability and they pretty much just adopted it to obi-wan so the next one is think it over enemies are affected by restrictive mind trick for a longer time more doubts is restrictive mind trick has a longer range which obviously two are similar to ray forward is the defensive brush lightsaber hits deal more damage again similar to ray's dash strike and critical deflection is the blaster shots deflected by defensive rush do more damage so there's a lot of good star cards there i think i know the three that i'm going to be using already and i will make a follow-up video on obi-wan later on discussing that so if you guys want to see that in the future be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on getting into the voice lines there are some really cool ones here and some you wouldn't expect i'm just going to flow through them so this video doesn't take too long let the negotiations begin you want to go home and rethink your life which i think is awesome that he's in there you haven't exactly impressed me today oh my and here i thought master yoda was sending me somewhere relaxing i understand you've had some troubles recently hello there and so uncivilized which of course had to be in there why do i get the feeling you're going to be the death of me which is a good one that he could say to anakin when he's added when i cut you in half i should have aimed for your neck instead that is a really cool one in terms of talking to maul the strongest defense is a swift and decisive offense a classic obi-wan saying uh like bathing in a lake of venomites these are like some of these quotes like there was one with uh grievous that spoke about dianogas like no one really knew where that came from so it's interesting that we got this one as well the next one is your perversion of the force ends here i'm glad to see you're enjoying yourselves let's avoid any of general skywalker's techniques shall we evil will always find a way master won't it trandoshan's always so touchy i will do what needs to be done there is no death there is the force so that is the full list of obi-wan's voice lines obviously some of them are going to be emotes some of them are going to be communications with other characters so i'm interested to see them in the game next up is victory poses and of course we have four shall we duel fighting stance soldiers with me and contemplating now there's no images for these victory poses we're just gonna have to wait until the 28th i will be live streaming to show all of this off as well as gameplay so next up is the emotes we have hello there which had to be one otherwise there was going to be a riot only a sith deals in absolutes which is a cool one as well obviously from the movies the strongest defense is a swift and decisive offense and your move so those are the four emotes for obi-wan and then of course he does have a couple of milestones which will be hit 30 enemies with defensive rush defeat 30 enemies with all out push and hit 30 enemies with restrictive mind trick now they did also put in at the end that his default appearance will be based on revenge of the sith and the other appearance will be 40,000 credits which is of course the robed skin they then went on to talk about the 212th attack battalion just gives a bit of background on them and it's almost like a bit of a description or a blurb talking about them and obi-wan so i'm not going to read through that if you want to do that that is in the link below but i'm excited for the 212th to be added as well i think they look awesome and they will look really good in battlefront 2. so guys that is everything for this video today the new trailer looks amazing obi-wan looks great the gameplay for his abilities is going to be awesome the 28th is like six days away for me because i'm in australia we're already on the 22nd and i am super excited like i said before i will have a live stream when he drops i hope you guys can all tune into that because the last general grievous live stream we had a ton of people watching there was like 490 people watching that stream at one time so i'm really excited for the next one hopefully we can have a bunch of you guys tune in as well but other than that i am gonna get out of here that's everything for today if any more news comes out i will keep you guys posted in another video i appreciate all of you tuning in and smack that sub button if you are brand new and hit the like if you enjoyed the video as always thank you so much for watching i am the twisted jedi and may the force be with you always the Sith.